This is the render bar up here that shows me what I can actually see and what I cannot. Green means that I'm going to be able to see it. The reason why I'm able to see it is because the hard drive is utilized. You need to have a proper RAM memory for you to be able to display things in RT or real time. The top section of your timeline here is showing you right now that I have safe real time effects on. An example of a real time effect means that I don't actually physically have to write a file or render a file to my render files folder um, in order to see this. If you want to know exactly what these color codes mean, you want to go up all the way to the sequence render all and right on the arrow tool here this is going to give you sort of a legend guide as to what is exactly the color code information red means needs rendering okay a proxy seems to me that it's going to sort of display it for you but it's sort of on the danger zone all right preview allows you to completely see it Notice the difference between the preview, which is a lighter green, and the full, which means that I don't have to render at all. Unlimited is a bit dangerous because if you do not have uh, enough capability on RAM memory on your physical computer, it means that you're about to crash. So if you see orange on your timeline render bar, which is located right here where the yellow appeared, okay, and here's the green, right? You want to definitely be able to pay careful, uh, careful attention to that. I'm now moving to the page peel category and I'm going to select page peel to do a transition of a page peel between this clip on the left here and Rob dialog. So once again I'm placing it right in between and let go. Now an egg, red means that I do have to render this. This is going to tell me that the previous clip now is going to peel away to show Rob dialog underneath it. I'm not smoothly able to preview this through scrubbing. Uh, notice if I place the needle on here and start playing this, I'm going to see unrendered. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and render all of these properties. I want all my video and audio effects to be added. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead to sequence. Render all, and I'm going to select both for video and audio, even though I haven't really added any audio or video tools. The rendering bar will now go ahead. Right, what it's doing in this process here is that it's physically writing that all those effects, it's creating a brand new Rob dialog, a brand new one second video, which is about 3.3 to 3.4 megabytes, right? So when you factor that in, you're about to really increase the amount of files that are on your hard drive. This is something you really want to pay attention to, especially when you're adding effects and deleting effects. Once it's done rendering, I want to pay attention to my top color code bars here. Hopefully, all of these red marks will turn into green as soon as this progress bar set finishes. When I come back to my timeline, I see the blue, which means all my effects have been normalized and I'm be able to now preview them on the canvas.